I got some pretty exciting news for you guys. I can't lie. I have this set up. So that already gives you guys a hint. Let's pop the trunk and you guys will get two more hints there. So let's make our way back there. Bro, what the? Holy shit. I swear we washed it like two days ago. But here is, hold on, I don't want to show you guys at the same time. All right. So here is hint number two. If you know, you know. What does it look like? It's the shape of something. And then here's hit number three. Yes, we are going drag racing today. It's been like three months since we last took this car drag racing. I haven't got any time to practice since the last time we went. If I remember, we went like in June. It was early, early June, but now it is September, early September. We are washing up the car. We have an hour and a half drive ahead of us. I swear every event that we want to go to is always so far. That's what happens when you live in a small town. I wanna say I do have a good handful of friends that are gonna be racing, so I'll probably race against them. I know I do have a few guys that have called me out, so I'll probably race them just for the content. I don't really care, win or lose. I'm just trying to get better, make my car faster, have fun at the end of the day. Let's start off by cleaning the car because I'm not sure if I wanna pull up like this. When we went racing in June, this is how I pulled up with the car. There is a couple more things that I have to do before I take off. So we're taking off in two hours. As you can see, I also went ahead and cleaned the interior, even though it doesn't matter, but I just wanted to clean the interior. This is another major thing we need. That's one of the last things that we have to do before we can take off. The very last thing I do need is I need a little socket for my weld. I don't know if you guys can tell from here, but the hole where the lug nuts go in is super thin. We have the mount ready, so you guys can see my POV when I'm racing. I wish I had a GoPro. You know how nice it would be to get two POVs for you guys? I was thinking putting the GoPro right there facing this way, so you guys can see outside and this so you can see my reaction. I think this is gonna be like pit stop number one for the entire day. I think we have like five pit stops ahead of us. So let's go ahead and put some gas. Shit, I forgot. I guess I need to open this, but we're only gonna put like 30, $30 worth of gas. We do need to top it off at 85 once we get over there. Luckily, there is a pump over where we're going. Oh, is it gonna work? Oh, I forgot to click this. All right, should work now. Let me put you guys on. It tastes the exact same as a regular one, but it's sugar-free. Who knows, is it really sugar-free? I don't know. I'm gonna just trust the label, but this is better. Man, where's a regular one? Oh, there it is. Tastes the same. Hopefully it's actually healthier. Too bad you guys can't tell, but I'm wearing all black and it's hot as hell today. As I told you guys, only $30. We are gonna fill it up with 85 once we get over there. We just have a couple more pit stops before we can actually take off. So at least we got this taken care of. Hopefully it'll last until we get there. It is an hour and a half drive. Bro, I swear, I'm not trying to be funny at all. Is that a truck or a car? <laughs> what the heck? On the other hand, the gas station that has E85 is actually right there, one minute away, and we're like five minutes away from the drag strip. So we're basically there. I think last time I recorded, it was still like 2 p.m. So it's about four hours later. We went to go take care of some stuff. We took care of almost everything. The last step, E85, which, oh, let me show you guys this car. Bro, that thing's so tiny. Last step, E85. Damn, look at this Mustang right here. Let's see if he does a pull. Oh, two of them. Three, four. Sheesh, that's tough. We might have to end up racing one of those. Some of the guys are behind us, but damn, these lights over here in Washington take so long. All right, let's go get some E. Let's stop complaining and let's get some E. Unfortunately, we're not fancy enough to put E whenever. We have to flash the car each time. Bro, look at this mess that I have. Hopefully all this mess doesn't make us run slower. We do have to flash the car. Like I said, we're not fancy enough. We don't have a custom tune. So let's go ahead and plug in this bad boy. It should take like 30 seconds and well, we should gonna, be able to pump some E. I was gonna put some E85, but I much gas. I'm gonna be able to fix Next it. time, tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. I'm not even lying to you guys. Look how fast this was. I probably started this like 15 seconds ago and I think it should be good. The light's flashing, that's a good sign. Everything's loading. Let's just cross our fingers, hopefully. Yo, first try, I bet. All right, this machine's a little too fancy for us. Let's see if we can get it first try. How much is it here? Three, damn. Wait, is it good? Oh, 
Let's put the pan. I always forget to open this up for some reason, but let's open this up, put some gas, and we're good to go. Five minutes away. Okay, remove card. No. Damn, look how fancy these machines are. I think this gas station is like brand new. It's boom. There we go, now we just wait. We ended up spending about $47. We got this filled up. Oh shit, I should have not put this hose on. But now we're officially ready to go racing. If you guys want to know what it feels like to be racing, imagine like when you're doing a school project, everybody's staring at you. Except if you mess up, you can freaking crash your car. The doors to this event open at 4 p.m. I want you guys to see that it's almost 6.30. Two and a half hours later, we have a line behind us, a line in front of us. Look at all the people watching. Like the race has already started too. I think we came at the right time. We just have to pay, get checked in by the safety guys, and then we're ready to start racing. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little nervous. Last time I raced, I lost control. Every time I launched the car, it was always ass. So hopefully it does better this time. There's a lot of people, are you sure you're ready? <laughs> so we both got the cars ready. We just need to get checked in, but there is a line ahead of us. But bro, when I tell you guys there's so many people racing, there's a ton of people racing. So we still need to get checked in. But luckily we're all legit. We just need to air out the tires. That's one of the only things we're still missing. We're gonna air them down to like 20. That's what we did last time and we were hooking pretty good. So let's see how long it takes for us to get checked in. I'm gonna leave this here for now. And well, what should I do to prepare? Oh, I guess I can air out the tires. So let's do that. What do you think, Brandon? Should we just leave them clean and not race them? Look how good they look. It'll look better going down the strip though, that's for sure. Oh, looks like a car's coming here. We're still waiting to get checked in. I think we're both fully prepared, no? Yeah, I mean, you, I Are you gonna air out your tires? Honestly, I don't think I am. Nah, they're not that big, but I did yeah. drop them like 10 PSI on each side, so hopefully like, that helps. You actually need it. Last time, we kept losing control, so we're trying to prevent that this time. We want every pass to be good. It is gonna be super packed, so I'm not sure how many passes we're gonna be able to get in. If we can get two passes in, goddamn. It's super loud, but if we can get two passes in, I'd definitely be happy with that. I do want to beat my time from last time, which was a 12-3. If we get a 12-2, I'll be happy. I don't care what I get, as long as I beat my time. We're That's the sure goal for today. Especially because it's weather, last time it was Bro, hot. look how nice it is. It's 90 degrees, but it's super cloudy, so you don't really feel it. All right, we officially took out almost everything from the back. Brandon is basically ready. So there's only one thing left to do. Let's go line up. Let's mount the camera right here so you guys can see my reaction. Let's see how we do, boys. First run of the day. Hopefully one of my friends got an outside POV. That's the Supra that we just raced. He's a good friend of mine. It was a super close race. Let me show you guys the actual results. I have the paper here. I'm trying to hurry so I can watch Brandon race. So I did an 11-8 and it looks like he got a 12-2. I think he should be able to beat me. I think he is gonna beat me next time. He was spinning a lot off the line, but we have all these cars that we can watch right now. So let's go watch them while we wait for the car to cool down a little bit. It is pretty warm out. And look at all these badass cars that are about to race. Let's go watch that.
As you guys can see, we only did one pass and it's already pitch black basically. Brandon got a super bad run in. He was spinning right off the line, so we're gonna go again. Hopefully we can race each other. Last time, would you race a Honda? I think it was like in a cord, so yeah, like a Honda. He raced like a Honda, but we couldn't race each other because the line I was on was going way faster than his line. But we're gonna try it again. Let me mount you guys up so you guys can watch. Oh, I honestly believe that we're only gonna be able to get one more run and look how packed that line is like it hasn't even moved in the past 15 minutes I'm just here with my car waiting for this line to move. I feel like something broke down on the track That's the only time they take forever. Usually they're pretty good on getting all the cars out. Damn I'm gonna leave the light on so you guys can see we're about three races away from our race So we're about to get ready Hopefully one of my friends is recording so I can show you guys what the outside looks like just like last race You guys saw my POV and the outside Let's see if we can do the same for this race right now So about three races ahead of us and then it's our turn Time for race number two. Let's see how we do. Honestly, the nerves went away, so I'm hoping we did good this time. Or even better, I should say. The plan is to get lined up with Brandon. He's right behind us. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to make that happen though, because they usually pair you with whoever you're right next to. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we get paired with each other. sure how well you guys can see me but we just finished our second run honestly it wasn't the best launch because they kept telling Brandon to go back which kept killing my launch he accidentally went over the water which you're not supposed to do for some reason they get hella pissed if you go over the water and don't do a burnout which he did on accident and they were like tripping honestly we both got a bad race huh overall it's kind of shitty that we paid 50 bucks and I think we're only gonna get like two runs in there's just too many people racing I do want to show you guys some of the other cars racing so I'll show you some of them and I'm gonna try to get a third pass in as soon as the car cools down a little bit. this car race yet can't wait to see that race against the g80 but let's see this race right here i know bro two of the most expensive cars here running against each other Super dark, so we're gonna try to get one more pass. And two of them have been all right, 
The first one was definitely a lot better than the second one, but let's see if we can make this third try our best one yet. We are nearing the end of the night, it's 10.30, so they're trying to shut it down soon. And I did not pay $50 to race twice, so let's get, get this third race. Last race of the day, let's see how we do. Hopefully everything goes good. last run we did end up losing this car is more built than mine we are down pipe two that only means one thing we got some work to do with this car hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you guys want to see more racing videos it's gonna be hard this was the last event of the year but if we find some we'll definitely make sure to go to them this car honestly performed very well compared to our first time going to the track i did not lose control once i felt pretty comfortable all three races so if you guys enjoyed this video Follow, like, comment, and if you guys want to see more races, coming soon. Stay tuned. Time to build this car into a rocket.